The iOS 14 beta version 4 is downloadable right now and I thought I need to install it on my new iPhone 8 Plus to show you how the new interface looks on a much bigger screen and how you can take advantage of the new widgets. As well as a couple of differences between the beta version 3 that I showed you on my previous video with the first gen iPhone SE. The link will be in the description. First of all, when I clear the home screen from the apps on the iPhone SE, there is different information now. The beta 3 showed remove from home screen and maybe Apple thought that nobody will understand what the app library is if there is no apps on your home screens. So here you can see remove app and it shows remove from home screen. Beta 4 shows move to app library so to inform you that it's safe to remove this app because it will still be available on the smartphone. So here you can see if I delete, if I remove the app, it shows move to app library. I'm sure that there are some other differences between both beta softwares, but until Apple releases the final public version for everybody, there will be many modifications in future beta softwares. It's now clear that the future of iOS is a big screen iPhone, because you can fully experience these huge widgets only when you have extra space for something else on the screen, not just two widget territory. So for example, here you can see it has these, this huge widget when comparing to iPhone SE. Now you can see there is an extra space for some other apps or for extra widget. Or you can just see more information because it's bigger, you don't have to zoom in with your eyes. So. One of my favorite widgets is the medium batteries widget that shows the remaining battery percentages to all of your active Apple devices. So for example, if I open my AirPods case, it shows the percentage of each AirPod and the charging case. So let's go to the batteries widget, it's here. And if I open the case, it shows opens up uh, AirPods and it shows you that both uh, AirPod headphones have a 100% battery in it and the case has 19%. If I remove one AirPod, it shows both AirPods, the left and the right. The, the one is still charging, as you can see, because it's in the case. It shows the information too. And the other that's in my hand, that is not charging because it's out of the case. The moment I put it inside, it shows only the compared percentage for both headphones. So that's really nice. This widget is my favorite. When I close the case, at some point it should disappear. So here I added the biggest screen time widget where you can get detailed info with all the apps that you use the most on a day. In the future, I'm sure that developers will add widgets for many more third-party apps as well. The future of iOS seems like a widget's home screen, not anymore the tiny apps. Yes, the iPhone 8 Plus has still the 3D touch technology built in the screen. If you push harder, it reacts much quicker than uh, force touch screens on newer iPhones. One extra feature I love in the iPhone 8 Plus. So we just push the plus icon. And there you can see, there's the smart stack. We just push on it and we choose the biggest one and add widget. So this is the smart stack. You can see, uh, you can see these tiny dots here. And you can scroll through them. Your photos, your maps, your music library, it's empty right now. Your notes, your reminders, Siri suggestions and so on. 
If you push on a smart stack, you can edit the stack. Just push edit stack. And here you can change the order for the apps or just remove something you don't need. So let's say I'll remove the reminders, just swap and delete. Now there are no reminders inside it and you can scroll through the smart stack. The one thing I always loved on Android phones was that I could put my apps where I want them, starting from the bottom up and create a minimal home screen. In iOS 14, everything still builds from the top to the bottom. And if you have a big screen smartphone, you have to reach high to be able to open an app or scroll through the smart widget panel. So, the widget starts here, not down there. There's a hope that maybe Apple will fix that in the future beta versions, but I think that won't happen for another year. So, this is the iOS 14 Beta 4 on iPhone 8 Plus. And you still can check my previous video with the first gen iPhone SE that has the iOS 14 Beta 3 on it. And if you liked this video, subscribe to this channel and my Instagram profile at take you through as well. Take care and let's meet in the next episode of Take You Through.